Hello everyone, we're back. And um, I want to say, first of all, thank you for watching. Those students and families, those people watching, are interested in and uh, want to learn more about playing music, playing this instrument, the recorder. So um, let's get started. Now, this lesson is not on a part of Ode to Joy. This lesson is a general lesson about no how to read notes, uh, also incorporating more fingerings. So very, very quick. I'm going to talk very quickly. Uh, if you miss anything on any one of these, please remember that you can always go back or pause. You know, pause it, let something sink in, try it yourself, and then continue with the video. This is the, this is the beauty in using uh, a video to reinforce what's happening in class. Okay, here we have a new recorder cheat sheet. A different one. Now, this one has all of the high notes we've been talking about in class, and it has uh, the low notes. It has all the notes except for a couple of notes that are in Harry Potter. Some of you have decided to study the Harry Potter theme, Yana, and some other people. Um, so uh, I've written that out, but this is not that fingering chart. This is not that cheat sheet. Today we're going to go over all of these notes, how to play them. Hopefully the camera can get my right hand in the, in the, in the shots. Okay. I noticed that about the last videos. You can't even see my right hand. Oh boy. So um, let's start with B and we're going to go to, oh, wait a minute. Hi, G. Hi, G. It's easy, guys. It's really easy. It's just like low G, but half full. Okay, let's get started. First, I show it to you. Look at this. You can pause it. Maybe. All right, now let's play these in order. We're starting with B, right? First finger B. A. G. Then we move to C, second finger and thumb. That's high C. High D. Just take the thumb away. And now we're at high D. Only one finger. Second finger on the whole recorder. Okay, from there, we must start using our right hand. Our left hand stays here, but we're adding our right hand. And here we're going to add two fingers at the bottom, one, two. And this is high E. Oh, I forgot. And remember, your thumb is going to half hole, letting a little bit of air out the back. For high notes, this is what we do. So it's just like low E, but we finger it with a half whole thumb in the back. F, the same as low F with our pinky and our, and our second finger up in the air. The same as low F, but half whole. I have not moved my thumb from high E. I have not moved it. And then high G, which is on the sheet. Just lift up our bottom fingers and we have high G. Half whole thumb, half whole. Okay, so those are the high notes that are on the sheet. The top of the sheet, above the squiggly. Here's a squiggly. Now let's go down to the low notes. Uh-oh, did you notice something about the low notes? I started with low C. All fingers on deck. Do you see this? Low C, all the fingers on deck. So, wait a minute, I just noticed that this note doesn't have a thumb. F sharp doesn't have a thumb. Let me put a thumb on F sharp. Aha! <laughs> Here it is. You got, F, F sharp's gotta have a thumb. What, what can we do? We gotta have a thumb on it, always a thumb. Okay, low C. Then D, then D sharp. Remember we need this for part three. Uh, then we have E, we have F, and we have F sharp. Do you understand? Okay, let's try those. 
starting with low C. Now, when we do a note that's very low, we have to be careful. Why do we have to be careful? Because we cannot let any air come out of the holes. Okay, watch this. Covering up those holes in the bottom. Uh-huh. Now, blow softly. Low C. Pinky up. So now we have low D, which is one, two, three, one, two, three. Pinky is up at the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we have D sharp. Third finger slides over a little and lets some air out. E. Now F, pinky, and second finger in the air. Now pinky and first finger in the air, F sharp. Now just pick up all the fingers for high G, for uh, G, low G. Got it? Okay, now, last thing before we end the video, last thing. I'm going to put the recorder down. We have just reviewed all of the notes you need to know for all parts in Ode to Joy. But there's one very important thing that I have to introduce to you. And I want you to get straight in your head. Throw it around before our next lesson. Because this, after we do Ode to Joy, we have to do something very important in music. Why do we study recorder? Because recorder leads us to other instruments saxophone, flute, clarinet, all of these instruments use the same fingering as recorder. Which leads me to, I'm gonna put you down, Mr. Recorder. I'm gonna put you down. Using, oops, music notation. <laughs> notation like this, rhythm notations. Rests, quarter notes, eighth notes, 16th notes, Californias. We're gonna be using these in playing recorder. The ones we've, the, all of this that uh, we've been studying since the beginning of the year, we're gonna start using these when we're playing the recorder more and more and more. Instead of clapping, instead of using drums, instead of using other instruments, we will be using the recorder. And one of the ways that we can get a mop is by playing all 50 of these measures on recorder and not clapping. That's coming at you. That's gonna be coming at you. Okay, so yes, we would need to use these in recorder. But we also need to use our pitches that we've been studying. Pitches like G, pitches like high C. These we use in recorder as well. The recorder is not separate from reading normal music, normal music notation. So here we have the note G. This is also G on recorder. Wait a minute. Mr. Fowler, are you talking about this G? The bag G? The one, two, three, and thumb G? Is this the note G for G? Is this G the same? Yes. G, 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 G. <laughs> I'll do it again. G. So we will be using this system to play this wonderful instrument. Now, I wonder how many of you can figure out the rest of the notes on the recorder, notation, and combining these two. They, they don't, they're going to fit. Okay. Thank you for watching. Those of you that are watching these videos, you're showing that you actually care about learning your music education, becoming better musicians, uh, better learners. You know, of course, you're learning another language. So you're becoming even more fluent in other languages, like music. Sorry about that, Mr. Microphone. Okay, thank you, boys and girls. Next lesson, Harry Potter. <laughs>